Hello souls, how are you? It's time for another miraculous reading. Today we are going to make another royal reading and the topic I choose is Prince William as a king. We are going to check at what age he will become king. Is Princess Catherine will be a queen consort what kind of decisions he will make as a king and at the end i'll try to channel princess diana his mother and see if she has some message so if you're curious please stay till the end of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe so let's start with the main question at what age Prince William will become king? We know that his father had to wait a little bit longer. So let's check if this will be also the case with Prince William. For one or another reason. We have seven of wands, four of wands, queen of swords, three of cups, nine of cups. So here we don't have exact timing. He's already standing from the crowd and he's already being noticed. And people were, are interested in him as he appears someone who is different from what they had till now. Mm. Things will remain stable. So there's nothing that uh, will help him. Things will remain stable. This is uh, what is going against uh, his coronation. It's uh, actually something good because there's no issue, for example, with um, King Charles' health. So things will be going good in the, ne in the near future. What is helping him? The Queen of Swords. Is this Camilla? No, this is somebody who is um, related, some relative from his bloodline. So there's some sort of a spirit guide that is guiding him. And this guide is helping him to get to the crown sooner. And he will get to the crown eventually. We see this uh, celebration with the Three of Cups and uh, the Fulfillment card, the Nine of Cups. So there will be a celebration. He will become king for sure. But let's ask for more specific information I insist to get it Ten of Cups Nine of Pentacles Three of Pentacles Justice and Page of Swords so once again, the cards are telling me that uh, don't be worried, uh, he will become king when it's the time. He needs to enjoy his time now when uh, he's not 
he's uh, less uh, engaged engaged so he can uh, take more time for his uh, family and enjoy his freedom and afterwards when the time has come he will become more nervous and more stressed okay this leads uh, to the next question the cards didn't want to tell me his age when he will become a king but I want to ask them what kind of king he will be, what kind of decisions he will make. So show me what kind of king William will be, how he will appear. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Moon. Here we see another card similar to the one we saw in the coronation of King Charles III reading of uh, long waiting and uh, with the five of pentacles we have uh, the uh, swords sorry we have uh, this energy of somebody who has waited long enough and wants to take action already but uh, people will always see him as uh, as a child as somebody who is young and uh, as uh, the child he was years ago and uh, with the moon card he will keep um, being mysterious and not revealing too much information about his personal life and thoughts he will he will keep everything as a secret what kind of decisions he will take what will be the most important decisions he will take eight of cups Eight of Pentacles, Hermit, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Strength, Emperor, King of Swords. What I can tell you is that uh, he will forgive his brother for sure. They will make peace after a long uh, period of distancing. Once William uh, becomes a king, he will make peace with his brother, Harry. But uh, they will be already grown up and in their elderly in their uh, they will be mature already as decisions so once one of uh, the his decisions will have to do something with harry and his other decision And we will have to do with the structure of the state. He will make some sort of shift 
between the power of decision taking. Here we have the government and here we have the king. So he will make, he will reverse that because there's some power dynamic, power struggle between these two institutions and he will reverse them somehow so i'm not uh, very familiar with the structure if now uh, the power of decision taking is up to one of these institutions he will reverse that that will be his major decision i'm worried about the hermit card i see here in regards to prince william uh, to prince harry sorry no it's uh, not uh, there's no need to worry he just will not communicate with him for a long time and there will be a period of uh, a big uncertainty will princess uh, catherine become a queen consort she should be next to him so show me will she be next to him when he becomes king king of swords eight of swords Justice, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, she appears uh, as the King of Swords, which is uh, an unusual role for a female. But uh, she appears as somebody who is really smart. In addition, uh, we have the Justice uh, card. So she might get some additional degree or some sort of additional status. And uh, it has to do something with law. She's doing it... Uh, not so openly she's studying something she's hard worker with the knight of pentacles and the three of uh, pentacles she's, she's somebody from the team for sure but she will be some sort of in the background not that much of a public figure next next to him and she appears to be very very smart the King of Swords is somebody who is really, really smart, very intelligent, uh, somebody who doesn't have um, problems to take decisions. So she appears as a counselor, some sort of a counselor, not that much of a queen consort, which is a more passive role. She appears to be a very useful person next to him. And she's studying in the meanwhile. In the meanwhile, she's studying something, but it's hidden. Okay, so finally, let's try to get a message from his mother, Princess Diana, if she wants to be channeled do you want to tell us something four of swords so she's resting in peace she's passive 
she doesn't want to talk let me think of somebody else who we can channel prince philip for example do you want to talk with us yes he does he seems very cheerful Okay, so let's listen to his message. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, Chariot, and Justice. Mm, he says that uh, with his death, with uh, his end, and the end of Queen Elizabeth uh, also died the entire um, an entire generation and uh, an entire era of uh, history of their family history and he says that uh, things won't be anymore as they were before even though um, some people tried to keep the monarchy as it was till now and things won't remain anymore and there's clear clear uh, difference between the two periods it's the ending of an e era it's here we have and he says that there are two opposite directions that could be taken but uh, there's no right or a wrong side both sides should be working one next to each other and this is the correct thing to do you shouldn't be taking one side or another side you need to learn how to be balanced and objective and uh, he says don't see only black and white don't see only um, the bad things in specific person or only the good thing things in a specific person each person has both sides and if you want to be objective and fair, you need to listen to both sides and see both the negatives and the positive sides in each one of the parties. Six of Cups, the Empress, the Sun. Tower, Eight of Pentacles. And she talks about Elizabeth. He says that they were almost children when they met. When they meet for the first time, he says that even then she was. more mature than him she he always knew that she would be great queen even when they were young he always saw her as um, almost as an empress as the queen and uh, he was like a little child next to her and they had a lot of fun however uh, it all ended and he had to work really hard everything uh, shifted there was this um, moment when things got out of control and uh, they had to start 
working really hard and uh, forgetting about almost forgetting about the cheerful part of their life what is this tower about temperance <laughs> king of knight of wands and death so it, this is the moment when she became a, a queen he says that this was some sort of uh, it was very difficult for him as it lasted too long and he had to be more quiet more uh, balanced and more mm, more peaceful mm, and he wanted to have fun a little bit more and uh, he felt like he has aged ever since then he wanted to enjoy his youth a little bit longer and all of a sudden they had to behave as an adult people with respons responsibilities Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. Here he is talking about uh, the conflict between the between Megan and Catherine and he says that he's been watching them from above and it uh, feels really it's really painful for him and it feels like a burden watching their conflict we have here Megan and we have Catherine and uh, both women are not talking to each other and he says that uh, it's, it's a pity and that uh, they should find common ground in their children which are sharing the same blood and that uh, they have to make peace and that he loves all of his grand grand children he wants them to talk to each other for the sake of the children and he says that uh, it's a matter of the issue should be resolved between the two females the issue is not coming from the male side. Okay, and the final message from Prince Philip. Seven of Wands. Three of Wands. Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. He wants to get, he wants to live once again on the earth plane. He's ready to get uh, reincarnated. And here we have once again somebody else who is fighting this idea. And uh, I guess this is uh, Her Majesty because we saw in. Uh, the coronation reading when I channeled her that she said that she's not ready yet to be reincarnated while he's 
ready to jump <laughs> again so he will be patient <laughs> he says i will just sipping my tea and wait for him for her while she doesn't want to even to listen to me but i will be ready to wait for her and to work on this as she's uh, something really valuable for me and i will wait for her time to grow and for her to feel that the moment has come so that was the reading my dear souls i hope you liked this information i remind you that you can suggest another topic if you liked uh, the video give me thumbs up share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye